I went to visit my friend yesterday and saw this beautiful, cute tea table in his drawing room. And I thought I could model this in FreeCAD. It, it should be simple enough for a quick project. Um, but I can also think about a couple of improvements uh, to make this cute table sturdy one. Let's see if we can find that in google but that, that's the idea there's the idea i think this is the one exactly this is the one that we are looking for um oval coffee table and if you will notice there is a support bar inside uh right below the top plate and this one has the dimension as well. So I guess we will be using this as our guide. And let's see where it takes us. I will be using part workbench um, to build this model. So let's go ahead and save it first. And first thing first, I want to start with the top plate and that should be on the XY plane. And that one would be an oval. And I can take an ellipse by center and measure radius. So that would be the center, the measure radius, and point. I want to place this one on this axis. That way we know it's kind of easy to work with. I want to refer back to this object where it says the length is 35.43 inches. So this measure radius would be 35.43 inches i'm gonna say i n so that's 900 millimeter so let's go ahead and make it 900 millimeter and across this is about halfway say a little bit more than halfway so let's factor it 35.43 over 19.7 that's 1.79 so 1.8 so what we'll have to do is across this length so i'm gonna go ahead and make this a name say major right and then on this one the minor one would be let's make a formula so constraints dot major over 1.8 so that that's kind of gives us a cool idea where we only have to modify this 900 if needs to be on the on the mid plate and we won't have to worry about this minor one at all so that is our i'm going to say sketch top plate and i want to make an extrusion um, downwards i'm going to say about 10 i'm say 12 millimeters so that it's kind of like half inches um, and apply close so that is our top plate that will give us some kind of baseline where to put the supports now again referring back to this image and the way that i looked at that when i was there you can see these middle plates are just screwed with the the support and there is no embedment in there so there is a hole that goes halfway through that's a pilot hole and then put any screen there that's the same way these supports are done and if you will see very closely uh, that this support this joint already came off because this material is particle board and they they are not uh, very good in holding down the screws inside them so uh, i want to make them kind of like a joinery type where the screws will be reinforced uh, with with the joinery with all of those things keeping in mind i'll try to avoid reference like as much as possible so that way we can reuse the models uh, from here and there all right so top plate and the next thing 
I want to do is so our base is there and I want to work on the support which would be on XZ plane here so we already have the axis cross there so we won't have to worry about it the only thing I need this line is to have some reference I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say I'm just gonna sketch it first and then we'll come back to make it like flow it where I want to So this is kind of the idea that this image has. Um, this side is kind of inclined and the, but the inside is vertical. We want to keep this vertical. I'm going to go ahead and hide this top plate now. And these two would be symmetric by the axis. Take this one and this one and the mid plane and make it symmetric. I'm going to take the axis cross out of our way. And now I want to have a clear idea where I want this one to be. It looks it looks all right with this where it is now. So let's go ahead and pin them down with a horizontal distance of I'm going to say 325. Now 315 looks good. Okay. This one we will go with arbitrarily say 75 millimeter and let's put an angle down there uh, I'm gonna say 85 and then I want to make these two symmetric that way we can say that that angle is reflected on the other side as well I should probably draw only half of it. All right, so this distance, I'm gonna say one and a half inches. So that's about 25, say 30, yeah, 30 millimeter. That, that sounds good. And what else? The height. So this one, it could go all the way up to 300 millimeter. Now we have the height given on the picture. So that's 16.5 overall height. And we can take, it would be 16.5 inches. Let's see where it is. So that's 419. We can take down 10 millimeter from the top and 30 millimeter from the bottom. So that's 40 millimeter minus. So 380 is what we are looking for. All right, and I'm gonna place this one on this line, make it horizontal. So that's our half support. So sketch support one, right? And I want to extrude that, obviously, keep it symmetric, make it a, like say half inches, so 12 millimeter. And there. So there is top plate and there is my half support. Now I want to come back to this uh, to make uh, like the joinery later on, but there will be a notch here and there will be a notch there. I can probably work on it right now. So let's make it half support one let's go back and work on it so think about like halfway here so this is 380 and what i want to do is i want to make a notch somewhere here and we say it the thickness of this support is 12 millimeters so this notch will be as high as no it will be as high as, as this one which is 10 let's go back see actually that's 12 millimeter so this is this height would be 12 right because we, we want to fit in another mid plate into there and I'm gonna go ahead and 
trim this part right so we have the total height 380 i want to put it around the mid midpoint so this would be say 380 divided by 2 right and let's put this two on the same vertical plan and let's make it say 15 millimeter or say 12 let's make it like a half inch indentation and i want to make this vertical so that's our first notch and it should go the other side millimeter right so that's our first notch and we want to make another notch here for the crossbar so that would be i'm going to say it would be 12 divided by 2 so let's say this is 6 millimeter and i want to make it 6 millimeter across vertical as well right and i want to trim the excess part down and that takes some of the constraints off i wish these constraints would be in place when i take some of these trimmings and that is something maybe can be improved so there and let's make this one vertical okay what else oh forgot what the height was did we say 30 uh, yeah 30 so these constraints were there it just went away because we trimmed something down i wish the constraints were there would be there when we do this trimming so there that is our Of support which I want to mirror it on the other side against this YZ plane right and there make it one object so we got our half support now let's make it support one now what I want to do, I want to take this top plate down here. So let's make a copy. Yeah, I want to copy this sketch as well because I want to uh, update that. I'm going to rename this as mid plate and also rename this sketch while we are at it. And let's edit that. So I want to actually let's bring it down first. So I'm moving this sketch down by almost 380, right? So this is this was 380 minus this was 380 over 2. So minus 380 over 2. That kind of brings us uh, 12 millimeter above what we are at. So I want to make another 12 millimeter minus 12 millimeter. So that's the thickness of the of that notch now it kind of fits in directly so i can see that notch going down there and if you take this off so it fits in directly in there go ahead and resize this so the idea is we will make this fit inside but not exactly at the edge we will make some overlapping so i want to go change the constraints this 900 major milli diameter we can make it say 700 and that kind of like brings it in i think that's that, that looks good yeah we can keep it 700 now since this other one this cross minor diameter was formulated with this major one we didn't have to change that it kind of like keeps the same aspect ratio and that was the target now we can make a cutout for it so we can say take this one right and take the support and make a cutout so take this and take the support and let's say make a cutout for the object so that kind of cuts out let's bring the exit so that's kind of like 
cuts out this plate to fit in with the object and that's the one that i was talking about i want to reinforce this object so for the second support can we reuse this original one and they go to sketch and i want to say reorient this sketch i want to place it on now it's on so i want to place it on yz direction okay so there now this sketch is reoriented but now it has to be resized so let's go ahead and resize this so 315 is the only thing that we need to change and we can do it so let's go with 250 see how close it brings in um not enough 200 not enough obviously we want to have this embedded into this plate so 175 um that is still it's touching in this end so i want to bring in more so 160 it kind of like puts inside right and there are good amount of overlapping in there and that way like when actually thinking about manufacturing we can use this same bar four times right okay so that is done what we have to do is we have to reverse this notch on this side in that case let's go ahead and hide this support and we want to delete these two actually we, sh we could have bring it down like halfway through here i think that would be a better idea have this six millimeter like say 15 millimeter so we will do that we will go back and then update that on that one but for this one i want to pull it in make it on this and also make this the same object so that way so we will do this notching with this cutout feature but let's go back to update this one while we have it we want to make it halfway through so that's about 15 yes that's what we want to do so bring in that support back so that's now kind of halfway there I think it would be easier for me to actually make that notch right now. So this is 30. We are making it like halfway through notch. And I want to say delete this point. All right. That worked. So this would be horizontal. And this is vertical. This length would be half of what it is now. So it is 15. And this is obviously half of 12. So this 6. And then I want to place this on this axis. And that constrains everything. Yeah, that's that was easier. So we didn't have to call in this cutout feature t twice. All right. So now... What do we have we have this sketch halfway and i want to go back to part workbench and extrude that for 12 and make it symmetric we got half of the sketch half of the support to half support two let's mirror that against this face which is x z and there we got the full sketch divided in two which we can make it one part and say support two let's bring back support one see how they fit in so on this one the notch is on the upper side and this is on the bottom side so they they will fit in just snugly and then we have this cutout 
but we don't have the cutout on on the mid page let's go ahead and take this cutout and select this support right and make another cutout for the object so what it does is now we have four notches on one four sides of this middle plate that will kind of like fit in snugly and we want to make this one visible as well so that that's our object actually so and another thing was in the in the image if you look closely it has a support on the side so the top plate is screwed down um screwed on the sideways not from the top so let's work on that as like a finishing touch to do that i want to bring in this support and say this is 315 that goes 75 millimeter and i don't want to make references uh, so i want to just put in those data and that would be on this sketch so let's go ahead and bring in another sketch on xy plane i want to look it from this side so make it reverse direction there and now i want to make four notches or kind of like support block on four sides it doesn't have to be exact but it has to align with this line right so this is six millimeter so we can say this is six millimeter away that's kind of puts on on that side and i'm going to say this is 75 and then this distance right is 315 so that's the exact value that's on this line is and we want to make this another six millimeter of block maybe maybe a bit more than that maybe 12 millimeter would do all right so we got that now we can use that information to resize the other block so make it symmetric i want to make these two equal and i want to make this height equal so that puts that down in the position and we'll do the same thing on this side all right we got all the four blocks in place i'm going to rename that as sketch support block so actually it will be support support block but say and let's extrude that for another say 12 millimeter so we got our support block there so that way you can you can make a screw here and the screw won't be visible on the top and on this one actually we don't need any screw anymore not even a dowel we can glue it there it's notched together and all in all that's the end of this project i think um the one that they are selling online is it's beautiful and the one that i modeled with these um, notches embedded in in the wood joinery it is as beautiful as the online one but if it is built right it would be sturdier like say four or five times sturdier than the than the one that we saw the one that was load tested by my two-year-old toddler and it was not sturdy it was shaking and as these joints a um, couple of these joints are already broken um, this one would be much sturdier than the one that's in the market hopefully you like this process thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video